Whether you feed dry food, canned food, cooked food, or raw food, there's still so many ways you can improve your dog's meal. Even if their diet provides all the nutrients they need daily, what about the little things that need support? Tons of dogs deal with joint pain, dry and itchy skin, dull coats, and digestive issues. But luckily for dogs, there are some natural foods out there that have been proven to remedy and even prevent these issues. And luckily for you, they're cheap. When it comes to joint issues, these are a major problem dogs tend to deal with. And unfortunately, age isn't the only factor. There are many breeds that are prone to joint issues early on in life, and being overweight is also a major contributor. So what can you do to remedy this? Bone broth. Bone broth is simply broth made from raw bones, and ideally bones with a lot of joints, connective tissue, cartilage, and ligaments. These are bones like poultry feet and necks, beef knuckle bones, and beef marrow bones. These bones are packed full of collagen, glucosamine, and chondroitin, which help protect and regrow cartilage tissue in your dog's joints. In fact, one of these bones actually provides another benefit that I'm going to talk about a bit later too. The great thing about bone broth is you can make a ton of it from home for dirt cheap. Bone broth can be made in a pressure cooker, a crock pot, or just in a big pot on the stove. Other than water, all you need are the cheap bones that I just mentioned and a splash of apple cider vinegar. The acid helps bring out the beneficial minerals from the bones, so this is important. The water, bones, and apple cider vinegar should simmer for 48 to 72 hours. And once it cools, it will hopefully have a thick, jello-like texture. But if it's liquidy, that's still totally fine. I make bone broth from home all the time, and my boys love it, especially while it's still warm. When it comes to the bones, you can actually reuse them one to two more times if you want to make more batches of bone broth. But once you're done, these should be thrown out since cooked bones can splinter in the intestines. Also, be sure to remove the fat that accumulates off the top before feeding the bone broth. Feeding cooked fat can lead to pancreatitis, so it's best to just scoop it off and throw it out. Now, while rendered cooked fat like this can be difficult for the body to process, it's a different story when it comes to raw fat. And this brings us to the next cheap and beneficial food, bone marrow. Bones that contain bone marrow are great for bone broth, but you can also remove the raw marrow and add a little to your pet's meal. You can do this by getting beef marrow bones because they have a center full of marrow that can easily be scooped out. Not only does marrow provide collagen for joint health, but marrow from pasture-raised animals can also provide some omega-3s. These keep your dog's skin healthy and their coat shiny. But bone marrow doesn't stop there. Research has shown that the stem cells within the marrow can help reduce inflammation, which may be a reason your dog's skin is red and itchy. Bone marrow is about 97% raw fat, so a little goes a long way when adding it to the meal. Even in a raw form, too much fat at once can cause some GI upset. Speaking of that, what if your dog has GI issues no matter what you feed them? Owners and even vets often chalk this up to just having a sensitive system. But is this really the reason? Or could it be a damaged gut flora? Gut flora is made up of beneficial bacteria and other organisms that live inside your dog's intestines. These aid in digestion, but if your dog's gut biome is imbalanced, meaning there's not enough beneficial bacteria in their digestive tract, GI issues will surely show up. So, how do you add beneficial bacteria to the gut biome? One way is to feed kefir. Kefir is simply fermented milk, and the fermentation process is what creates such a vast array of beneficial bacteria. One time when Matsu was a puppy, he had to take some antibiotics. And antibiotics do have the potential to destroy a lot of the bacteria in the body, even the beneficial kind. So while he was on antibiotics, he also got kefir every day to repair his gut flora. Luckily, kefir is another food that you can make from home for cheap. All you need are kefir grains, which you can get online, any type of milk, raw or store-bought, a jar, and a cloth to seal the top. Metal tends to react to fermented foods, so you may also want to get a non-metal spoon and strainer too. Just like the bones in bone broth, the kefir grains can also be reused. I personally like to freeze the excess kefir and bone broth that I make into silicone molds. Matsu loves munching on these frozen treats. See how I make these, along with a few other frozen treats, in this video. 